I'm Justin Zarr with bowhunting.com and this is the 10 point Nitro XRT. The Nitro XRT is 10 points top of the line crossbow for 2019 and this thing is packed full of features and technologies that I'm sure you guys are going to want to know about. But to get started, let's take a look at the basic specs of this bow so you can analyze if it's right for you. This bow features a reverse draw design and it is ultra compact, measuring just 12 and a half inches from axle to axle when the bow is uncocked. When the bow is cocked, it measures just seven inches between the axles. It weighs 7.4 pounds, shoots up to 470 feet per second, and has a 225 pound draw weight. One of the biggest improvements the 10 point made for 2019 in the Nitro XRT is the all new T5 trigger. One of the biggest complaints that people have had through the years of crossbows and as they've evolved has been the way that the trigger feels. So 10 point went back to the drawing board, developed an all new trigger that is the cleanest, crispest breaking trigger that I've ever shot out of any 10 point crossbow and I've owned a few of them in the last couple of years. So unique things about the T5 trigger is that it is ambidextrous. So it is good for left or right hand, uh, features a dry fire inhibitor and an auto engaging safety as well. And like I said, the most important thing guys, clean, crisp, trigger break, which we all know is one of the very important things when it comes to accuracy and just the enjoyability of shooting a bow. In my opinion, this new T5 trigger is the biggest improvement that 10 point made on the 2019 XRT. All right, let's talk about speed and performance because it seems like that's what everybody wants to know about when they look at a crossbow. How fast does it shoot? Like I told you guys earlier, this bow will shoot up to 470 feet per second, which is extremely fast. And it's one of the reasons that this bow is one of the most talked about items at the 2019 ATA show. Now, when it comes to speed and speed rating, sometimes I know they could be a little bit deceiving and it's important to understand that if you want to get that 470 feet per second, you're going to have to shoot a pretty lightweight arrow. 10 point makes a pro light arrow that is 385 grains that will get you that 470 feet per second. However, when you purchase your new Nitro XRT, it's going to come with six of these Evo X center punch arrows. Now this is a 445 grain arrow, so it's a little bit heavier, and this is going to shoot up to 440 feet per second, which let's face it, 440 feet per second is plenty of speed to kill anything that you're gonna be shooting at. But the important thing, at least for me again, is that kinetic energy. That's gonna produce 191 bone crushing foot pounds of kinetic energy out of these arrows that are included with the package. A uh, couple different arrow options for you guys to choose from, but the ones that are included with the bow are gonna get you up to 440 feet per second. Another new change for 2019 is that 10 point has come out with these alpha knocks. Now this is gonna be an upgrade from the previous Omni knocks that we had in the past. And the reason that it's an upgrade is it actually promotes better string to knock contact in the bow. Uh, and because these bows are so narrow, the string angle is so severe anymore that having good string to knock contact is important, especially at these super high speeds. So the Omni knock, even though it looks like a traditional half moon knock that we've seen in the past is anything but. There's actually a lot of additional engineering and machining that goes into these knocks to make them compatible with these bows and actually previous 10 point crossbows as well. So if you've got an older bow and you wanna to upgrade to the newer knocks, you can certainly do that. The ones that come with the Nitro XRT are an aluminum knock. All right, so talking about what comes in the package when you buy your Nitro XRT, guys, I already mentioned that you get six Evo X center punch arrows. You get a 10 point three arrow quiver along with the ambidextrous quiver mount. So this can mount on the right or left hand side of the bow, depending on how you like to mount it. It comes with 10 points best high end optic. This is an Evo X multi reticle marksman scope. Um, it is adjustable from 1.5 to six power. Uh, as I said, it's multi reticle. It is fully adjustable based on the feet per second of your bow. So as you change arrows, you simply change this dial right here and it will move your reticles for you. Uh, so you don't have to worry about sighting in. It's got a seven eighths inch uh, fixed uh, Picatinny rail dovetail mount right here as well. It's also gonna come with a hard case and a sling as well. So you literally get everything you need to go out in the field and hunt with this bow included in the package. Uh, the retail value of this package is $24.99. Uh, so guys, if you're interested, make sure you visit your local 10 point dealer, shoot one today, see what you think. Uh, next up, we're gonna take this thing out into the field. We're gonna show you a little bit about how to cock it and see how it shoots. 
All right, well, we made it out here. We're at Coon Creek Hunt Club, and we are going to send a few arrows down range from the Nitro XRT. One thing I do want to show you guys is going to be the AccuDraw Pro uh, cocking mechanism. This is built right into the stock of the bow, as you can see right here, and uh, it's very handy. You don't have to remember to carry a rope cocker with you. The other thing I like about this new mechanism is that it is silent which is great for us bow hunters. When you're out in the woods, there's nothing worse than cranking a bow back and hearing that click, 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 click. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just release the sled here, which again, mounts right into the stock of the bow. We're gonna pull the sled forward. You're gonna see there's two hooks on the back of the sled. We're gonna hook it right into the string. Now, another cool thing about this bow is it's got the handle for the crank mounted right into the bottom of the stock. So we're gonna go ahead and Flip this lever down, put our handle in, and we're gonna start cranking. As I said, this is a silent crank, so you're not gonna hear anything as this is coming back, which is wonderful. Nice and easy to crank. So even though this bow is a 225 pound draw weight, it's very easy to crank back. Doesn't take a lot of effort at all. Now you're gonna see, once I get this thing back far enough, you're gonna see the safety actually automatically engage when the string gets far enough back. So I'm going to crank and you're going to hear two small clicks. There's one, there's two. Now the bow is officially cocked. So now what I'm going to do is flip this little lever again and I'm going to release the tension off of the sled. There we go. So now that the tension's off the sled, we could pull our handle out, put it right back into the stock. Now we can actually remove the sled and put this thing back in place nice and out of the way for safekeeping. So now our bow is fully cocked and ready to shoot. So we're gonna take an arrow, cock vein down as always. We're gonna make sure that it's seated all the way back inside. So it's gonna disengage the dry fire inhibitor. So now this bow is essentially ready to shoot. Flip the safety off and we are ready to go. Bingo, getting closer. About our fourth shot with this bow today and she's finally getting nice and sighted in. So we're gonna go ahead and grab those arrows and send a few more, a few more down range. This is the fun part, getting the arrows out. We should have brought arrow lubricant. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't as bad. Oh, dude, it went through. Look, it went through right here. That's what I was gonna say. I was aiming like right here because it ripped my, tore my fletching off. Probably just glue her back on there. Be right as rain. That's a dead turkey though, boy, right there. Well guys, there you have it. That's the new 10 point Nitro XRT. Uh, you know, the one thing I will say that, that I've noticed the most about shooting these 10 point bows the last couple years, especially these reverse draw bows, is how well balanced they are. Because of this reverse draw design, it puts the riser more in the middle of the bow instead of out front, so it moves some of that weight back here. So when you pick this bow up to shoot it and you hold it, it's very, very well balanced. I think that's the thing that I like most about this particular design, uh, in addition to the fact that it's just compact. I think, you know, in the old days when you thought about crossbows, guys thought they were big and unwieldy and hard to carry around, hard to hunt out of a tree stand or a ground blind with. Uh, you know, these new, new bows are, are anything but difficult to use out in the field. So, um, you know, I'm planning on taking this bow out uh, to Kansas here with me before too long. Going to try to shoot a turkey with it uh, and then come fall back here in Illinois, try to shoot a deer with it. I went out last fall with, uh, with my bow, my crossbow, and was unable to, to harvest the deer, unfortunately. But this fall, I'm setting aside a little bit of extra time to bring the crossbow out here in Illinois now that they are fully legal in our archery seasons. And uh, I'm going to go try to harvest a whitetail with this. But to be honest with you guys, this bow has enough speed and enough, enough power to shoot any big game animal in the world uh, with it. It's extremely accurate, it's a pleasure to shoot, uh, very quiet for a crossbow, and uh, you know, all things considered, if you guys are in the market for a new crossbow and you're looking for the best of the best, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the 10 Point Nitro XRT. Oh yeah, dude. I do not love the crossbow. <laughs> 
I mean, how do you seriously not love these things? Hey guys, if you like this video and you want to see more great bow hunting product reviews and awesome, exciting bow hunting adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button as well. That way you get your email alerts and your notices when we post new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.